The ROG Xbox Ally X gives us 24 gigabytes of system memory, but the question is how much of that should you dedicate to VRAM? I've tested 4, 6, and 8 across different games, and the results might surprise you. In this video, I'll explain what each VRAM setting really does on the Ally X, how to change it, and which one gives you the best balance between graphics performance and overall system smoothness. Let's jump into it. All right, I've got Ninja Gaiden uh, Black, not Black, sorry, Ninja Gaiden 4 fired up here, and you can see it runs really smooth. We're getting uh, 60 frames per second. It looks, it looks fantastic when you're battling. Look how good. By the way, this game is absolutely beautiful, everybody absolutely beautiful and I've got this running at uh, six gigabytes of VRAM here now so what the what the ROG Xbox Ally X allows you to do is it's got 24 gigabytes of unified memory and VRAM allocation affects how much RAM the system and apps can use uh, VRAM goes towards your GPU here so you can you can say hey I want more on my GPU or I want less on my GPU now not every game requires more in fact a lot of games actually require less and the ROG Xbox LIX defaults to eight gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, heavier games require that, but most games I've found work fantastic at six gigabytes. You don't need more than that. Uh, Ninja Guy in Black here as is an example of that. You can see we're running very smooth. Graphics are looking good, so you don't need to allocate more for that. There's only two games that I found that you need to allocate more for, and that is Cyberpunk 2077 so far uh, and Ghost of Tsushima. And you and you and if you take a look at those games, those games are world building, very graphically heavy games. Indiana Jones is another one that that you need that eight gigabytes of VRAM. Everything else is six gigabytes or less a silk song you can use less ram on uh so most games forza horizon 5 uh ninja gaiden 4 for instance you only need a gigabyte so the question is how do i change that well simply click on your armory crate button and you can see uh it pulls up this menu uh you can go open armory crate there you come down to performance and uh then you come all the way to gpu settings and you can see right there memory assisted to gpu I have it on six six gigabytes, and you can you can change this. If you go all the way up to the top, you can actually move that to auto. I would not recommend auto. I've been doing some testing with auto; it doesn't seem to work there. Really, you don't need to go above eight, uh, but you can go up to twelve. You know, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You're not really getting benefit from doing that. Eight seems to be the sweet spot for heavier games. Again, only an Indiana Jones, a a Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, and a Ghost of Tsushima have have needed that eight gigabytes. Everything else. Else, use the six gigabytes if you want to really max out performance on a smaller title like a Fortnite or a silk song you can go down to four gigabytes and you'll be just fine and actually you'll get the most out of it but you can see the difference there those are those really light titles platformers etc and then you just select your thing now you will have to reset uh, your device after you change this but again uh, it works it works really really well no problem uh, you could just exit out of this here and let's go back to Ninja Gaiden and you can see we're running really really smooth here uh, and it looks good then the whole shot look we're, we're right in there locked in at 60 so you can actually unlock this I have this locked at the moment just because I've been doing some testing but that is VRAM uh, and that is how to change it again I wouldn't use auto auto mode at all more VRAM can improve texture streaming but also increases memory activity which can affect battery life and high load scenarios which is which is why six gig gigabytes of RAM seems to be the sweet spot if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. We drop videos like this all the time right here. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, bye-bye.